come inside don't be shy jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park christmas the trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day sending videos from her trailer yeah she's jolene sugar baker come and spend the holidays the trailer park way Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and Mary, Trailer Park Christmas, and welcome to the Trailer Park Rumpus Room Recap, where I'm going to talk about all the exciting days that we've already done of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I'm releasing a video every day from December 1st through December 25th. Yes, that's right, either a cooking video, or a chat, or even some crafts and I've got a calendar that you can download at trailerparkchristmas.com that you can follow along and I see that yesterday says holiday morning and we actually did a great cookie using some cereal and sometimes we're really in a hurry and we don't have time for breakfast and these cookies are a great easy meal replacement I don't know if they meet all the nutrition guidelines but they do have some cereal in them and it uses that nugget cereal and I don't know that nugget cereal I don't know how they do that with the branding because that's not what I look for in cereal I look for marshmallow frosting coated fruity, I don't know, but it's kind of like a granola, kind of barley cereal that we put in these cookies to make them a little bit more healthier. And we used orange zest to make them uh, have a zing for the morning. And these are great to put in your pocketbook when you're on your way to go shopping and you just don't have time for a normal breakfast. And um, it's my morning orange cookies that we did on um, actually Thursday. And you can get that recipe and watch that video here on my channel. The day before that, on Wednesday, we did a chowder. A ham and corn chowder. And it's especially great to have a chowder or a soup on a cold winter's night. It's something easy to fix up. And this one was so easy to put together. I used some ham steaks that I found on sale. And it has um, a can of corn in it. And it was so easy to fix up on the stovetop with some potatoes and it's great for your family or just something that you can um, eat on for a day or two. It's something that will really be great for a cold night, so keep that one in your recipe books. The day before that, we made cottage cheese biscuits, which actually pair well with the ham and corn chowder. And I know that um, people don't like cottage cheese. There's a lot of people that turn their nose up at that, and there's a lot of people that really are into cottage cheese dishes and some even take it to lunch with peaches and are like look at my lunch and I'm like mmm that's not what I'd really call a lunch but you go at it sweetie but you know that peaches and cottage cheese that's not my favorite but I do like cottage cheese I put it in my lasagna as a replacement for the ricotta cheese but in the biscuits it certainly did make a great biscuit and it has the taste of the cheese in it and it would be great with some um, Italian seasoning on top and some melted butter but they pair well with the chowder or any soup or even any dish that you're making for the holidays and it looked like a pretzel topping too because we brushed it with some um, egg yolk up on top and they're just an unusual biscuit that you can make around the holidays and people will be like what is this? They're cottage cheese biscuits and I hope you get a chance to make that. On Monday, we got a little bit fancy. We made maple nut scones. Now, I know that maple syrup is expensive, and that's okay. You can splurge every now and then. Pancake syrup, I actually like pancake syrup on my pancakes um, more than maple syrup. But in cooking, maple syrup really brings out the flavor. Now, maple scones... Um, is fancy and it sounds like it is a crazy thing to make but it isn't it actually is something that you can do in your own trailer and they make little eight petite scones that you can dip in coffee and if you have guests that spend the night with the holidays you can surprise them with these scones and they'll think you're so fancy and think you're such a chef with that 
The day before that, we made chocolate cherry bread. Now, cherries remind me of the holiday, too. I don't know why. I guess it's the color. The maraschino cherries, especially. I like to make Shirley Temple drinks around the holiday, too. But the chocolate cherry bread uses dried cherries, and you can find them on sale around the holiday, especially here around the holiday time. You can find nuts and cherries and dried fruits and things like that. You can stock up because they're good for a while. And uh, we made a chocolate cherry bread that has the taste of chocolate and cherry. And you can make them in little loaves and give them away as gifts. Everyone likes food as a gift. I can tell you that. Then, on the Saturday, we made a craft. We made an ornament out of Starlight Candy. It was so exciting because, you know, they give them away for free at the end of the restaurant in a bowl and you know if they're not watching you can take a few and it's really not stealing because they are free they don't have a sign saying take only one like the grocery store little thing where you had to put the five cents in to just get the piece of candy um they give them away for free at the restaurant and you could grab a few make an ornament out of them and they were so pretty and they smell like peppermint they'll make your tree smell pretty with the pine too it was the um, actual Starlight Ornament Craft, and it's made out of candy. And you could even use them up on a baked good, too. That is so exciting with that. And also, in the beginning of the month, if you missed it, we did gelatin, we did gingerbread, and we even did a cheese ball, which is a tradition in the trailer park. It is so exciting to spend the holidays with you. There's so much more coming up ahead. If you look here, um, there's a holiday gift vlog tomorrow. There's a Candy Cane Dreams. Wonder what that is. Candy Cane's definitely a holiday thing. Apple Butter Bread. Pineapple Upside Down Muffins. All sorts of things are happening on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. And you need this calendar. It's on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, so you can follow along. What are y'all getting ready for with the holidays? What are y'all doing? Are you shopping? Leave a comment down at the bottom. Are you cooking anything good? Leave a comment again down on the bottom. Well, I'll, I'll, I've got to get things ready for the rest of the week, so I hope you follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer There. Share your pictures on my Facebook page. Send me an email at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. I'm excited to see what you're cooking up to. Tell me about your holiday. If you don't celebrate Trailer Park Christmas, what do you celebrate? I would like to learn more about it. Leave a comment down at the bottom. The best thing to do is to, to hit that subscribe button because you can't miss any of Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'm so excited to be spending the holidays with you. It's been a great time so far. There's more dates coming up ahead. Get this calendar, and I'll see you back tomorrow. I love you. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.